Hi, I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Earlier this week, I submitted a video for the 10 second video contest on Production Crate. And the topic of the contest was reflection. And I added a reflection of myself in a bullet. And I had several people ask, hey, how'd you do that? Well, here's the video, and then I'll show you how I did it. So I'm working in HitFilm Pro version 7, and uh, I have my bullet. If I bring up the bullet, and this is just one that I picked up online. It's, it was a free asset, but I go into the properties. You can see it's a pretty nice looking bullet. It has a bullet. It has a shell. Obviously, in the shot, I went ahead and uh, just, just scaled the shell to zero. But if you open up the bullet, it has a diffuse map, a specular map, or a normal map. Uh, it has, I used, I went ahead and used the Fong instead of the Cook Torrance, um, because it just seemed to work better. Uh, and then I adjusted the diffuse reflectivities and the spe specular reflectivities as needed. Also, I kept it at spherical because it is a, is a bullet, right? Um, then I brought it in and you can see, you know, there it is, right? It's turning. I've added it to my scene. It's flying along here. Okay. And I said, well, now I just need to. Um, you know, actually add uh, the reflection. So how do I do that? Well, I got this. I got this shot of me uh, literally walking by the camera and waving at the camera, like as if I was walking by the bullet, right? And I drag that reflection comp into my shot, and there I am walking by. Okay, uh, I hide that, and then under the bullet itself, what I'm going to do is under the controls material properties i'm looking for the environmental map and i say open it up now i could use the composite shot in which case it's just going to reflect everything that's going on around it right you can see that picture and all that kind of stuff okay uh and the composite shot basically what's behind here is my 360 degree background picture of my own uh living room okay so the bullet itself, instead of using the composite shot, I say use a layer, and I'm going to use the reflection comp, which is the only layer that's left in here. And now you can see, there I am. If I turn off the light, you can see I'm really, you know, really easily where I'm at in there, right? And that's how I did it. I positioned the comp, uh, you know, turn on the light, and that's it. So you just use the environmental map to show that reflection, but you got to make sure you take that video when you're there so that way you have that available. So any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.